Parkinson's disease is a very common neurological condition. The numbers of Parkinson's disease are increasing day by day. From the Global Disease Burden Study, we know that the numbers of Parkinson's were about 7 million in 2015, and the numbers will be doubling and will increase up to 13 million in 2040. The many symptoms of Parkinson's disease, the early symptoms of which can be caught early, such as constipation, lack of smell sensation, change in handwriting, discomfort in legs during night time. The early motor symptoms or the symptoms that you and me can see are mostly tremor in the hands. A tremor is a rest tremor. When they are resting, you can see a tremor in the hands. Slowness in the walking pattern, slowness in daily activities and walking changes. In the very early stages of the setup of the Cleveland Clinic in Abu Dhabi, we identified the gap of functional neurosurgery in the UAE. So we were very eager to set up a new program with the help and the backup of the Cleveland Clinic Foundation in the United States. I believe it's not enough to have the equipment available. You need a very good, engaged and mature team who's willing to create a new service line. So now I'm very proud to have this team available in the country, fully committed and eager to start the first cases like we did in 2020. Mr. Mohammed Al Arani is a 49-year-old Emirati from uh, Alain, and he was referred to us for evaluation of Parkinson's disease from his neurologist. Mr. Mohammed, he developed symptoms of Parkinson's about 20 years ago. He had symptoms mostly with difficulty walking and slowness in his movements. Overall, he noticed that his walking speed had slowed down because of Parkinson's symptoms. كانت حياتي قبل العملية صعبة صعبة للغاية وحتى جاتني حالة نفسية بسبب الشيء هذا سويت عندي عزلة من عن الناس سوى كرهي للعمل بسبب الحالة اللي أنا فيها ما أحب حد يشوفني ما أحب حد يشوفني وأنا بالحالة هذه. Mr. Rashid Al Hepsi is a 33-year-old, very pleasant man. He has kids. He is a young man. He was a bodybuilder. He has uh, uh, he has shown me his previous photos where he has uh, big bulky muscles. تم تشخيصه بمرض باركنسون في 2015 بداية 2015 تعب شديد إرهاق نفسية عند بعد عدم زيارة الأرحام و... وغير متفرغ أن أشوف أي حد. The symptoms started with the right hand as a tremor about 10 years ago. Then it progressed to the right leg, and then he developed symptoms in the left hand as well. The symptoms made it difficult for him to walk. His quality of life severely got affected. When he takes the medicine, the tremor would control for only for two hours. But what happens when he takes the medicine, he would have extra movements, what we call as dyskinesias, and this really affected his quality of life. The treatment options for patients vary from person to person. It is not a one treatment for all. I discussed with him in details regarding the treatment options available at this point. Because he is so young and he has full life ahead of him with a young family, we discussed about deep brain stimulation surgery. As this is a very sophisticated procedure, we have to plan and execute professionally. The preparation starts from the time patient goes to MRI. We get very high quality MRI specific for DBS. Then we do an image fusion technique in a very sophisticated software. The day before surgery, we stop their medications. Then we use our intraoperative imaging and intraoperative neurophysiology to make sure we have reached the target and there is no side effects. After that, we make the patient awake and we check for their symptoms and we can see that how much we are able to control their tremors or rigidity. Most of the time, there is, we are able to control it completely. Once we are sure about the symptom control, we make them sleep again and we complete the rest of the surgery. Rashid had DBS surgery and after the uh, few sessions of DBS programming, we noted that uh, he had very good improvement in his symptoms. The tremor completely improved, even the extra movements did not happen now with each dose of medication. And he is able to spend time with his family and at his work without much of the tremor and the extra movements, the dyskinesia. <laughs> مع أنه كنت قبل العملية تعبان فقلت خلينا نجرب العملية يمكن نستوي زينين والحمد لله الحين أحسن من أول تغيرت حياتي للأحسن كنت طبيعي رجعت طبيعي نفس قبل قبل أصابه بالمرض الحين الحمد لله أروح وأيي 
واروح عند اهلي وارحامي والحمد لله رب العالمين على النعمه هاي محمد did significantly well after the DBS programming sessions he was able to walk normally his stiffness and slowness improved significantly he was no more dependent on the medication we were able to reduce his total dose of medication by more than 70% i'm happy that the doctors are taking good care of him and i'm glad that he's feeling better لكن الحين الحمد لله بعد العمليه تو عندي تواصل اجتماعي مع الناس زاد وزني قمت اللي هو الرقي ما ما رجع بعد الاكل اللي هو حبيت العمل اتواصل مع ابنائي الحمد لله تقربت مع عائلتي العب معاهم العب مع بنتي الصغيره علم بان المستشفى عنده دكاتره مختصين باعلى مستوى واذا كان عندهم باركنز بحاله صعبه انصحهم باجراء دي بي اس After having successfully completed the first functional neurosurgeries at the Cleveland Clinic, I believe this opens up unique opportunities for the entire healthcare sector in the UAE that there's no need for patients to travel abroad. <laughs>